I mean, with that new metaverse coming out, I'm like, this feels like the next step to being able to upload <laughs> into an afterlife. It's exactly right. And, and not only that, but they called it Horizon. They named it after our company. <laughs> Kristen here. And today we're chatting with the cast and creatives of Upload Season 2. Enjoy the conversation. Tell me about like the new direction that you wanted to go in for Upload Season 2, because the, the end of Season 1 kind of left us in a huge cliffhanger. There's a lot to explore. Yeah, I mean, I think that... Season two, we, we're getting into uh, following Nora off the grid into the woods, and she's hanging out with this Lud, uh, Lud movement, this sort of protest group that is uh, uh, angry about the way technology is working in the future. And, um, and meanwhile, Nathan is back at Lakeview and has been surprised by his ex-girlfriend Ingrid uploading, and he feels very guilty about it. And they sort of, they sort of take up together again. And so from the standpoint of the love story of Nathan and Nora, they are definitely going away from each other as the, as the season begins. Um, but we're, we're really pretty much picking up right where we left off. And, um, you know, there isn't like a huge new twist to the, uh, to the world. We're just sort of expanding the world. And, um, you know, the Horizon Company is coming out with weird new products. Uh, and the characters are growing and we're kind of leaning into the the second season as being like uh, leaning into the strengths that we've identified in the first season and just trying to be entertaining and fun and a good watch. Allegra, I mean, Ingrid made the biggest sacrifice at the end of season one. And we learn as we get into the season that she's kind of like pulling off the biggest con as well. Can you talk about, you know, kind of what Ingrid's mindset is this season? She's arrived where she's always wanted to be, which is in the same room as Nathan. What more could she want? But such is the case with life. Sometimes when you get what you want, you're still left wanting and um, it doesn't solve her problem, right? So the problem in her relationship is not um, physical distance, it's uh, compatibility, emotional distance, like all these things that she maybe took for granted or never really realized. So uh, she actually has to confront with herself uh, what is actually wrong and maybe, maybe come to terms with the fact that it could be her. Andy, Nora is kind of like a double agent this season. Can you talk about that balance? Nora's always had this rebellious streak in her and that's one of the qualities I really love about her. And, and this season, I think the change is why she's doing it. And, you know, this, this time around feels more connected to something that um, is deeper for her and the kind of person that she wants to be. You know, we really see her coming into her own, embracing her power and, and stepping into this leadership role. I think she's always kind of been someone that's like behind the scenes and like, oh no, you know, I don't want anyone to know what, what I'm doing. And, and, and we really get to see her, you know, step in and, and take that, um, take the reins in a, in a lot of ways, which was, was just fun to, to do. So Alicia is working her way up in the, you know, career world. Um, but that comes with some new rules that she sort of has to, you know, follow. So can you kind of talk about the place that she's in, in this new season? The start of it, it's like, it's business as usual, you know, like we have Nora who is a bit off the grid, um, and, and Alicia has to pick up all the slack and, in doing so, she, you know, opportunity is created. Um, but with opportunity comes some sacrifices. It comes some harsh truths that she has to deal with. And ultimately, it comes with like a choice that she has to make, right? And a choice that affects other people, affects Luke, affects Nora. Um, and I think that, you know, we 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 kind of shine a light or 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 poke a little bit of fun at like corporations and some of like the nastiness um, that exists, you know, in corporation by way of capitalism, right? And so the, the more Alicia kind of like navigates work, the more she discovers. And it's kind of like, what does she do with that information as well? So it season two gets kind of tricky. You know, it's not just all fun and games for Alicia. She's, she's not just like a, a, a commenting bystander anymore, you know? Mm -hmm. And now Luke is, uh, you know, we've really seen him solidified as sort of like that best friend and that confidant for Nathan. Um, and so going into season two, uh, what are the kind of the ups and downs that your character is going through and like kind of the mindset that he's in? Well, he's very much a commenting bystander. No, yeah. I, uh, <laughs> he, he starts down. 
um, or at least just kind of like flatlining with Mildred, who's changed her avatar and um, living in Nathanless world. Uh, but then once he's back, all of a sudden it's party time. But he's also a little frustrated that he's not being included uh, more, which is actually, I think, pretty great because then he he gets included in Nathan's entire scheme and 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 uh, and pursuit of trying to find Nora, um, which is really cool. I think a, a really nice thing that they did this year, the writers did with with getting Luke involved in that because it makes sense. And also, Luke is very much the um, you know the hunting dog of that this friendship of like just give me a job and point me in the direction and I'll go sniff it out. So I think he he does a, it's it's an, an interesting thing. And then I think also. He's trying to come through for Nathan as much as he can, while also Alicia is kind of climbing her way up and their relationship is starting to change as well. Robbie, Nathan has incredible connections with both Nora and Ingrid over the course of this season. Um, what kind of is he dealing with? I mean, again, we, we left uh, that season one on this huge cliffhanger going into this season. So kind of where where is he? Oh man, um, I mean, he wanted to say, I love you back, but uh, ran out of data. And then here comes Ingrid. Um, you know, he thought that he was finally going to break things off and try and start something new and everything came crashing down. So um, I think the interesting thing is he's still worried about Nora. He's still love. He still loves Nora and he wants to find her. And in order to do that, he needs to kind of use Ingrid a little bit and live with Ingrid and and then as it you know comes to be that Nora doesn't want to be found life kind of keeps moving forward and he has to start thinking at this about this from like well Ingrid uploaded for me that's a big sacrifice you know that means something maybe there is something there like I you know I used to love her and uh, maybe uploading will do the same thing to her that it did to him you know it'll it'll you know help him grow help her grow up a little help her you know realize what's important in life or maybe it won't with this new season what have been maybe some of your favorite moments or maybe even some challenging moments i've really enjoyed watching some of the uh, more side characters in the ensemble uh, sort of bloom and get more screen time so I've loved um, the character of Ivan has a very funny um, new romance with a, a, uh, a gadget, which I think is pretty cool. And I love seeing Ingrid um, uh, kind of have all these experiences that are designed to increase her compassion and reduce her narcissism. And uh, yet she's still fighting it pretty hard. And she's so clinging to her, you know, her, her vision of how life should be with Nathan. And I don't know, it's just, uh, uh, I love some of the, the sci-fi horror moments, you know, like, um, I'm not going to uh, spoil them all, but, but there's a couple of like really eerie things and, and just the interplay between being able to be kind of eerie and, and, and so shocking at one moment. And then the next moment you have a good laugh. And then, you know, the next moment be watching these two sort of beautiful leads fall in love or whatever. It's just like, uh, it's nice to have a lot of variety to me as a viewer. Yeah, a little bit of everything. I love it. Speaking of the world, I just think it's so interesting that since upload season one, the world that we live in has kind of dove even deeper into like crypto and NFTs and the metaverse. And I'm like, are we actually getting closer and closer to the world that you guys are creating in the show? So <laughs> What does that feel like to see that? And have you, uh, have any of those new advances influenced, you know, you guys in your writing process? Constantly, yeah. We're, we're doing lots of research. Um, you know, we're always uh, exchanging the latest um, futurism article or tech advance and trying to figure out, okay, if this is actually going to happen and we're all going to be doing this, we're all going to be, you know, flying drones to work or whatever, what, what, what could go wrong? What could, you know, what could be a funny unexpected twist. Uh, how is that going to change things? What are, you know, if people are actually giving each other stars on dating apps, how are they going to behave differently? You know what I mean? It's like, it, it's definitely fun to imagine. And, um, but they, it is catching up with us, but I think that's okay because, you know, what, the way we're looking at it is uh, we're only 15 years in the future. And uh, 
you know, we want it to be super fun for people watching it today as they are assaulted with constant, you know, new technology being advertised as being amazing. And, you know, it's good to have like a slight skepticism and to be able to say, oh, I saw how that played out. They didn't play out so well, you know, on the show. So, yeah. How people are going to look at the show in 20 years. It may be that they look back and they go, well, I got everything wrong, those idiots, you know, but but hopefully they'll enjoy the the character dynamics and uh, and not worry so much. Absolutely. I don't know. I mean, with that new metaverse coming out, I'm like, this feels like the next step to being able to upload into an afterlife. That's exactly right. And, and not only that, but they called it Horizon. They named it after our company. <laughs> it's, get, a, get, get a check from them. Yeah. <laughs> That metaverse money. We feel like the world is copying our show. So. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wow. I think what's funny about it to me is that like, we, you know, it's kind of in, it's all like borderline idiocracy when it comes to upload and that it's not utopian, it's not dystopian, it's somewhere in the middle, which makes it feel like a reality, um, which I think is, is purposeful and, and interesting that, that the Greg and the writers have done that. But also it just kind of feels like everything is uh, like the technology is ushered in with little understanding of like what it does. And people just kind of willfully dismiss it. You know, they sign away their contracts and all that stuff. And it's, I think crypto is so interesting because everyone I talk to who does it does not understand it at all. Or they claim to understand it but they re it's like almost like with an, a, an arrogance of like how, oh, I understand it. I lost $15,000, but I get what it does. You know, like it, it's, it's, it's just interesting in that people just kind of willfully dismiss that, uh, dismiss what, what it's capable of doing. And, and I think upload, you kind of see how bad that can get. Yeah. And you know what? I feel like when people like watch upload, when they watched upload season one, it was like, it made them feel, it made them feel good. And I think part of, some of real life being reflected on the show with, without us even knowing. It's like, we, 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 we did the season in 2019, right, Kevin? And we start the pilot off, which we shot in 2018, with masks, right? And so when it premiered at, at the very beginning of a pandemic and we're in this new world, it's like, oh, okay, well, if today we're in masks and upload is reflective 20, 30 something, and that's, a, that's not a bad world to live in. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, it's, that's not a bad future reality to live in. And so I think that, and I may be a little bit ambitious saying this, I think we're providing people with hope. <laughs> you guys are telling the future. <laughs> Depends on what you think you're hoping for, but yes, for sure. And, you know, as we wrap up this season, we see that there is the potential for life after death. What was it kind of like to be able to have Nora and Nathan together in the real world for the first time? That was a big moment. You know, it's funny. It, it was two seasons coming and um, like it, it felt important while we were shooting it too. It, it felt like a big moment. It, it didn't just feel like any other day of shooting. And I think that's, you know, partly because we're fans of the show and like, I, I care about these character storylines and I'm invested in them and, you know, selfishly I'm biased obviously because I'm a part of it, but like I'm a huge fan of Greg's and what he does with these characters and, and you fall in love with them and, and you feel like you're on this journey with them. And it felt like an important moment and, and shooting it was really cool. And I mean, I get to work opposite these two and, you know, they're so charming and so lovely and, you know, anyone could have chemistry with them. So it's, it's, I'm just very lucky to, to be in that position. Thank you guys so much for your time. I'm, I'm waiting for season three now. So I know what happens next. <laughs> Us too. <laughs> Thanks, well, Kristen. Congratulations. It was so great to meet you. Thank you. You too. Thank you. Consider subscribing if you like my videos. And if you want to talk more TV and movies with me outside of the comments section, check out the exclusive Discord available on my Patreon at patreon.com slash kmaldo. If you like this one, you can check out more of my videos right over here. See ya!